with our little management program introduction. What we want to do is give you guys a little bit of an overview of our program, what we do, what we intend to do, and give you kind of a bit of a flavor for how the program works. And then we'd like to take some time for questions and answers. So first off, I'm Pat Halpin. I'm one of the co-directors of the program. I'm based here in Durham. And this is great. Yeah, Grant Murray, I'm the <laughs> other co-director of the program, and I'm based down in Boulder. So as we'll talk about in a minute, the second year of your program, for most of you spent down there in the Marine Lab, so I'm here to talk a little bit about that. And so the reason one reason we have two directors, co-directors, is because of the two campuses, it lets us have a director of each campus, so that's really helpful for you guys. And yeah, so they had asked us, because um, some of you uh, are here, obviously, I mean, all of you are here. Uh, <laughs> others of you from the admitted class aren't here, so they asked to record the first 10 minutes. So Pat and I are standing in this really small box where the camera actually can fit <laughs> yes, us in. Normally we don't see <laughs> <see, laughs> in space, but Sorry. Space, but, but, uh, so for this 10 minutes, we're going to kind of run through some slides that hopefully actually will answer or at least uh, generate some questions from y'all for the, for the last bit. And then we'll go and, and briefly introduce some of the, the um, uh, students from this year's second year class, from the second year cohort. Uh, They're going to be by far better able to answer the questions that you have about real life and life at CEM than, than we'll be able to. She also quickly introduced Sarah, for those of you who haven't met her, she's Hi. the administrative lead, the staff lead for, for the program. So let's do our slides and then we'll uh, we'll go into Q&A and a little bit more introduction. Sounds okay. good. Okay. So Pat, I'm going to step out of the frame and you can talk about the first You're kind year. of still in it. So. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so, so first off, um, we want to talk about the program vision and we really have a dual emphasis and science and policy and the intersection of science and policy. We actually mean that. I think a lot of programs talk about we're going to be multidisciplinary and things like that, but we actually really stress this. And most of our students take a full range of courses and full range of training from things that are technical, analytical, um, kind of science-based courses, and then also social science-based courses. And so we really do stress um, that kind of more complete package. We feel that's really important for your training and your ability to work in the fields of policy and management. And, and so this is something that we really stress here, and I think most people come away enjoying that. Another big issue is we have a two-year plan where we keep students on track. It's a lot to cover. I think the biggest, there's a complaint, the biggest complaint we have is two years isn't long enough because there's so many different things people want to do, and the first year goes by like that. And second year goes by probably even faster. <laughs> and there's a program where we're trying to balance formal courses, um, separate research that you're going to be doing, internships, client-based internships. So there's a lot of activities in that two-year program to try to get you guys up to speed that you can be employed professionals in the field. And so that's the real direction, and we're pretty in, in detail about that. Um, the faculty covers a broad range of different programs, working in coastal wetland ecology, um, we have faculty working in deep sea ecology, uh, marine conservation, microbial oceanography, ocean governance, community-based conservation, physical oceanography. My specialty is geospatial analysis, so I actually work in a lot of those disciplines, but more dealing with it from the computational side. So and that's really an incomplete list. But there's a lot of options for working with specialty and faculty in, the, in these different fields. So, yeah, I'll just add to, add to that quickly that um, if you haven't already, there's a Duke University Marine Lab page, and this is the General Nicholas School page. I encourage you to go visit that because most of us, except for me, because I'm slow, have web pages of our own that describe <laughs> our research that uh, goes back to the years, project to involve in the work, that kind of thing. It's a real good way to get more detail about what we're all interested in. All right. So um, there's a lot of different courses. So in Durham, there are some required courses on, on communications, on statistics, um, and not required, but they're encouraged. Um, resource environmental economics, ocean coastal law and policy. These are a lot of the courses that you'll be, if you're coming, you'll be taking in the fall semester or spring semester your first year. Um, other courses that are fairly popular with the CM program. Uh, the fundamentals of geospatial analysis, which is done in the fall. There's a geospatial analysis for coastal marine management, which is in the spring. So one is a prerequisite for the other. 
Um, there's courses on should I eat fish, which is taught by Marty Smith, as, uh, who's an economist. Um, there's a lot of courses in wetlands ecology, social science surveys, tropical ecology. So there's a whole suite of things to take your first year when you're here. And so, um, so students generally pack in a lot of coursework the first year. The next slide we're going to talk about over classes and I'll let Craig. Sure, yeah. So the second year, about 90% uh, of you come down and spend the year with us. Um, we have two semesters. One is run like it is up here in Durham. We take three or four classes at a time. And then a spring semester where you're in blocks. You take one course at a time, but three times as intensely. So you'd have instead of three hours a week, you have nine hours a week. Um, there's a range of courses there, too. Um, one of the nice things about being in Durham is we're literally on an island, or in Beaufort, is we're literally on an, an island together. So you'd be living and working in close proximity with your faculty. In small class sizes, we work with PhD students, undergrads, and, and these different kinds of topics. There's three um, social science faculty and residents there. Myself, I teach marine policy and social impacts uh, analysis. Anybody that's interested in those topics, I can talk more about them. Lisa Campbell, who teaches political ecology and conservation development, and Javier Basurdo, who teaches um, theory and practice of the commons analysis, and then a field course to Baja. In the spring, uh, many students take advantage of travel courses. So we have one that goes to the Virgin Islands, we have one that goes to Baja, California, we have one that goes to St. Croix, one that goes Singapore. to Singapore, yeah. And uh, I'd say 50% of our students take advantage of that. They call it the signature travel courses. Um, some courses are wired back to Durham, so you can, if you decide to stay in Durham, you can take courses down in Beaufort and vice versa. Some students that choose to go down to Beaufort will wire in for a, for a class. Both sides are, are really well set up, video uh, conferencing wise, so you can look at the roster um, in both places. Okay. You'll have to build a jump. <laughs> <laughs> Almost in Harvey. Um, so I think. Oh, you want to talk about this or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. PowerPoint is fine. Go ahead. <laughs> so, worth thought. so um, I think one of the things we're very, very attuned to is working in the field and placing students in positions in the field. And so um, a lot of our students come through and work for, you know, end up getting jobs with large nonprofits, large NGOs like the Nature Conservancy or other marine based NGOs. A number of our students are very interested in, in government service, working for NOAA, NIMS, um, Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, US Navy. We get lots and lots of people working in, in federal government, state government positions. Um, we do have a small number of students who come back to finish a master's and then decide that they really kind of got the urge to continue on for PhD. So we get some students that will end up going on and using it kind of as a springboard to go off to do a PhD. So there's many different tracks. Um, I do a lot of work in, with government agencies, and I can tell you I run into alumni all the time, which is actually very rewarding and nice. Um, and so there's meetings I'll go to with no one stuff, and sometimes I'll have half a dozen past students um, in, in one room. So it's really amazing. Um, and many of them spread over many years, so many of them don't know each other, so it's always kind of fun to see students from 20 years ago, 18 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, um, all working at different levels of positions. So um, so that's actually very helpful for you guys. Our alumni network is extremely strong. 